one of the, well, the, the major consequence of the prohibition of cannabis has, has put tremendous resources into our criminal justice system. The imprisoning of you know, millions of, of, of people uh, from around the country, you know, disproportionately minorities, and somebody who has experienced this firsthand at deep levels um, for, for decades now is, is Mr. Tony Serra. exploiting the, you know, vast working class of this country. They don't, you know, succumb to the oil industry, to the pharmaceutical industry. They're a better, higher, more evolved mentality, and that is treason to the United States government. That's why medical marijuana hasn't been recognized at the federal level. They will fight it because ultimately they are the dinosaurs they know that they're going to perish. They know sociologically and psychologically that they're on the wrong side. So, you know, what do I think? I think that we, as marijuana, you know, sacramental or medicinal users, we can't be passive. You can't be passive. You gotta fight it in some way every day. The subject matter here today is prisoners, marijuana prisoners. But well, goddamn it, find out in what jail and what prison, and write them letters, communicate them, give them some support, give them some, some respect, so that they don't. Like the person I was looking at today, you're seeing him diminish under the pressure. You're seeing like him shriveling psychologically. Don't let your marijuana brothers and sisters perish in prison, in jail like that. And speak out at any opportunity. Speak to your neighbor. Speak to the camera. 
driver, speak to the postman. You know, we will prevail. But right now, it, it's the dinosaurs are fighting. They're not going to give us anything. Anyway, 